What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. As I mentioned before, this is a brewery making its PRB debut from 21st Amendment Brewery in San Leandro, California. This is Toaster Pastry India Style Red Ale. So with the uh, Toaster Pastry name and the, the bold red can, I was uh, thought this might end up being a uh, some kind of fruit ale, strawberry, raspberry ale, but um, I was uh, quite wrong. I'm happy to say, um, as a, for the uh, as the brewery notes say, our first beer out of our new brewery is an homage to its former life as a toaster pastry factory. Biscuit malts give the beer a slightly nutty, crust-like flavor, while pale and dark crystal malts create the mouthfeel and flavors reminiscent of strawberry jam. Calypso and other experimental hops give this ruby ale a welcome bite plus a few more in the hop back for a toasty sweet aroma. 7.6% ABV, 74 IBUs. Um, ingredients used include hops that are Centennial, Autonom, Amarillo, Mosaic, and Warrior. American Ale Yeast and malts used are two row, Bear 7080 Dark Crystal, Wireman Munich 2, Wireman Carafa 3, and Castle Biscuit. Let's check this beer out. Mm. whole lot of carbonation. I don't think I poured it too much more violently than I normally do, so... But you can see there, that's a good, uh... Go ahead and call it half a glass, just about. Uh, color is a nice... Uh, orangish, going into copper a little bit. Um, and a, a fair, amount, fair amount of bubbles shooting up through the glass. Very, very fine bubbles, though. So, uh, yeah, nice color, and again, a whole, whole lot of head seems to be dissipating fairly quickly as, uh, as those heads tend to go. All right, I've poured the rest of the can, and that head's had a chance to settle down. Um, again, it dissipated fairly quickly, and again, kind of looking at it, there's um, a little bit of carbonation going up the glass, but um, relatively speaking, it's just... It's very little and super, super fine bubbles, so uh, that helped get rid of this head fairly quickly. And we can go ahead and get to drinking. Hmm. Quite the, uh, the the hoppy aroma gets hit your nose as you uh, as you're going for the sip. And the the flavors overall just really kind of are really, really hard hitting initially. Plenty of uh, plenty of hot bite. Maybe uh, maybe just might be a hair warmer than it should be uh, in terms of a serving temperature. So that, since I had to let it sit for for a moment, so uh, plenty of hot bite. A uh, little bit of fruitiness. Um, kind of the berries they were talking about a little bit in the uh, in the description. Certainly, plenty of malt presence, but uh, at this point, it's overdone a little bit by overpowered a little bit by the by the hops. Um, hops are, hops are pretty dominant early on. You get the malt more towards the more towards the back. Um, plenty of pine. And uh, maybe just a, a hint of funkiness, but plenty of uh, pine hop aroma or pine hop, pine hop flavor coming through. That's uh, that's really what's coming through in the, in the first half of this drink. Um, just bold, bold in your face flavors, and I guess uh, I talk about the, the toaster pastry, and maybe not being a fan of that. Mostly, I was worried about uh. You know, just kind of being like a super, super fruity beer, but it is not that at all. Um, it's got just a hint of the fruit again. That's that's toward the back as well. Um, does kind of blend in with the the malt character, and there's a little bit of that uh, biscuity, crackery, crackery malt. So it does get a little bit of that uh, to toaster pastry, toaster strudel, pop tart kind of a kind of a way there at the at the very end. Hot bitterness is uh, present, but but moderate. It's not a not a 
not a hot bomb by any means, and um, that hot bitterness does does tend to linger after uh, drinking. But uh, decent little beer, maybe a little bit more uh, in your face than I like, but um, pretty decent malt hop blend that you would expect out of uh, kind of the Indian style com combined with uh, the red ale. And yeah, um, pretty decent stuff. Not uh, not one of my favorites by far, but certainly very drinkable and uh, one I would certainly have again if it were uh, if it were placed in front of me. So that's it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, next time we'll be checking out a beer with a single hop and a single malt. So um, very small ingredient list on that beer. We'll be checking that out on Thursday. You'll find all of our reviews, both video and written, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are in the description below. And if you're so inclined, like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.